guys welcome back to the garage it's your boy chapo bill we are going to begin painting the engine bay in the crx but we will not be removing the engine this is my race car and uh if you could tell engine bay is quite hurt it was spray painted you can see it was reddish burgundy it was spray painted by the previous owner so i want to go ahead prep this whole engine bay as much as i can we'll just be removing stuff out the way taping up things i have some aluminum foil some blue tape that we'll be using spray with the engine in here it should save us some time i'm not too worried about making it look too pretty but you know i do want it to be a bit brighter and liven up the car a bit more now that the car is all black so further in the video you guys will find out what color we will be doing we're just gonna start taking everything out of the way and just moving everything uh towards the middle taping up as much as we can taping up the motor mounts using some aluminum foil to cover up as much wiring and we'll use a whole bag over the whole motor i will also be removing fenders i don't want to paint the fenders you know what i mean so we'll take both fenders off let's start by getting ready taping up everything and uh wrapping up with aluminum foil this pretty clear when I had took these plugs off looks much cleaner I wiped as much as I could now I'm basically just gonna go ahead and sand down as much as I can just continue working forward I'll be hitting it with 600 grit sandpaper that I found 
this is really all that I found. So I'll be just going through sanding everything as much as I can, all these rough spaces and just try and get it as much as I can. You can tell it's all pretty rough. It's about time to freshen all this up. Let's see what we could do with this, guys. as I could with the 600 but I honestly feel as though it's not rough enough at least for my case I do have some really messed up spots that just need a thicker sandpaper but I'm just hoping that with a bit more sanding here with the 600 even though I wasn't doing an amazing job and uh filling in with the primer hopefully we could get a smoother uh finish right now because this isn't too clean but like i said guys i don't know how many coats of spray paint is under there so i'm just trying to really clean this up as much as i can guys so bear with me so in just a second here we're gonna start priming down and see if we do need to sand down a bit more let's just go ahead and get everything else covered up and get it situated move out the crx's way and just get to the paint Fix up a few little edges and stuff here and there. Just make sure that I'm good. You know what I mean? Just get straight to it. Start throwing some paint on this.
Still not even done uh, taking off aluminum for it and putting stuff together, but I'm just waiting for everything to dry. I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to uh, risk ruining today's job. So, but guys, guys, I really like this color. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I hope you guys are feeling it as well. Look. Pretty decent, guys. Basically, what we're going to do next is slowly... Start putting everything back together. We're pretty golden, guys. Look at it.
painted my own engine bay. That's crazy. This was right at home, right in the garage. Simple. First time. And guys, it came out pretty decent. I cannot complain. It looks way better overall compared to how it was. Let me show you guys from a distance. Just look at it now. We got a few things we're gonna touch up with some thinner so we can get rid of. But if you rub it hard enough, it comes off. So like, that's nothing but more important stuff. Didn't really get touched. I still have a few wires I have to put away and stuff, but overall you guys get the gist of it. Trying to get you guys all types of angles. Well guys, we're finally wrapping up this project of, of painting the engine bay, like I was telling you guys. Just a few wires there, like I was saying, to route down to the headlights, and that's about it. This is literally done. Taking breaks in between just to not rush the whole process and uh in between waiting and drying for uh for drying and stuff. This will max take you four hours, guys. Putting hands on non-stop. Yeah. Down in the comments, what you guys think? Was this an L? Was this a W? Me personally, this was a W in my opinion. I don't know. I feel like it came out really good, guys. Obviously, the color scheme could look crazy off right now, but this yellow will be going away. Valve cover will be changing colors. And I don't know, guys. It's the race car, but I wanted to show it some love, so I decided to get outside. Go ahead and uh, paint the engine bay. It was a new learning opportunity. Never did that in my life, so it was crazy. It was fun. I definitely encourage you guys to get outside and do it, man, because remember, if I could do it, you guys definitely can, man. I'm no professional, so you know what I mean? This should definitely work, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. It'll help you boy out. And like I said, guys, I could do it you can too get outside get to it thank you guys for watching